Well, good morning, everyone. My name is Joshua Torrance. I'm the executive director here at the Bennington Museum, and I'm very excited to uh, bring you today's tour at 10 uh, with our special guest, our head of maintenance and our head of security, uh, who's going to talk to us about the Pottery Gallery. So again, uh, we're here in the Pottery Gallery, and uh, we have our special guest who's going to talk to us about why he loves this room. Hi, I'm uh, Tom Moyerney, the building manager here at the Bennington Museum. And I just, I really do enjoy the uh, Pottery Gallery. If you take your time and actually look at the pottery and see how much work was involved in making things like this, I just, I just find it amazing. Is there a piece that's your favorite object in the, uh, in the gallery? Walk us, walk us through the gallery and just show us some of the things that... Well, I, I just, I look at the dogs a lot. I just think that they're uh, a lot of detail to them. And you grew up right here in Bennington, right? I did. And so did you grow up learning about Bennington pottery and the importance that it was? Did they, did they talk about that in school? No, not, not really too much. Uh, I'm not too artistic, so it's, it's easier for me to look at things and try to figure out how they made it rather than do it myself. Talk to us about some of these over here. What do what we got in this case? Well, they're all things they used to use for food, I believe. Water pitchers and Can you imagine trying to make this one with the, the, this vase and bowl with all the different colors? It's crazy. It is. That's why I just... I think it's really neat. You can walk around in here and... I mean, look at the, the old jugs. You could put a lot of beer in that, huh? <laughs> or wine, I guess, or cider. Cider was, was, was extremely popular. And then this is the study areas. Do you come in this area every now and then and just contemplate? Oh, I just, yeah. I just like to look, look around at it. I don't have a lot of time because my boss doesn't let me, you know, spend too much time. Come on, now that the museum's uh, empty of people, do you, uh, do you eat lunch in the galleries? No. No. <laughs> <clears throat> no, our collections manager would... I like that, would you, Kelly? <laughs> <laughs> and then, of course, you got all of these animals over here, which are. So, if there was one piece of pottery that you could show us that you could have in your own house, what one would it be? Well, it's, it's, there's uh, dogs over here with the handles on them, but let's that's, go see. that's only because my mother has a set of them. Well, let's go see. See the, the pictures with the dog? Oh, yeah. So there you go. We, if it's missing when we, when we reopen, we'll, we'll know where to look first. Yeah, well, <laughs> they'll, they'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks, Tom. Do you have anything else you want to talk about or share with the pottery? Do you have a, can you remember seeing visitors come through here? You must. Oh, tons of people. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. And uh, we appreciated your tour of the pottery gallery. There you have it. The favorite spot in the museum for um, Tom, and uh, that was really fun. We hope you enjoyed it as much as Tom and I enjoyed doing it. Uh, here at the Bennington Museum, we can't wait to have visitors back at the museum. Um, obviously, it's not the same without you all, uh, but more importantly, 
uh, you know, we're here to serve the public and to bring all these wonderful collections to you and for you to enjoy them. So uh, we can't wait to have you back here uh, going through the galleries with us and enjoying all this incredible, amazing stuff. Um, we also at the Bennington Museum remind you to stay strong, stay safe and stay creative. We're confident that if we stick together through this, we're going to get through it and um, we're going to be okay. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time for Tours at 10.